Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. Okay, so I'm gonna go big. I'm gonna go to a 40 inch by 20 inch canvas. I'm gonna do a split color base. So I'm gonna do probably, I'm thinking blues and greens. And I might even mix up my own color. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use some basic, probably what, four colors? I'm thinking a pink and a green and maybe a copper and a gold. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a big split base piece. I'm gonna use the Dutch pour method and I'm just gonna have a bit of fun. I hope you join me along the way. Let's see what we can create. Okay, so I settled for a Prussian blue mixed with a little bit of white. And then I'm using a blue green by Pebio. And I've picked out five different colours to go with these base colours. So I've got a copper and a gold. Both of them are iridescent and they're by Pebio. And then I've got three other colours. I've got a pink, an orange and a green by Amsterdam. And what I'll do is I will list all the colours in the description below. So take a look at that information. So first of all, I'm just going to get my base colours down. And I say this every time, if you can get your base colour and consistency right, then the whole painting should be able to just flow really well. And I haven't done a Dutch pour in a while and used my hairdryer, so I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. This was probably one of the techniques that took me a long while to kind of really master. And in fact, I don't think we ever really master a technique because they can really evolve and change as we evolve and change as an artist. But I'm really excited for this. So I'm going to get the base colours down and then I'm going to layer all the paint on top. And you'll see me using my torch just to get rid of all those air bubbles. Okay, so let's layer the colours on top. And I'm literally just going to go along the edge where the two base colours meet. And then the idea is to blow those colours out into the negative space of the blue-green and the Prussian blue. So you might be thinking, mm, I'm not sure those colours are going to work and I've not really seen those colours in a colour palette ever or in a while. But one thing that I would say and something that I've pledged to do in 2023 is to just have an exploration of pa uh, colour palettes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some good old traditional colours. I love my blues and my greens as a base but I'm going to choose some colours that I wouldn't normally put together and I'm just going to experiment and see what kind of effects we can create using colour palettes that we wouldn't normally use. So that's something that I'm going to really champion throughout 2023. I've probably been in my comfort zone in terms of colours for a while, but yeah, more recently I'm just pushing my boundaries and that's how I'm trying to grow as an artist, just to explore colour and what those colours can look when they're placed together in a palette. Okay, so I've got rid of all the other air bubbles that I could see and I'm just using my blow dryer now to infuse those colours on top of each other, just gently blowing them out. But I, what I will also do is I will also get some more of my base colour and just layer that along the side. So when I blow out, I can ensure that there's enough paint to allow the flow across the canvas with the use of the air and the blow dryer. Thank you. 
I actually really love working with larger canvases because they're a challenge, but it's also a challenge for me to ensure that you guys can see everything that I'm doing too. So remember, when you start blowing out your design, just take your time. There's really no rush. I've started in the middle with this one and I'm working my way out to the edges. I'm stopping and I'm pausing and I'm just kind of taking a look at that overall design. Using art and creativity is a therapy for me and it's my go-to when I want to chill out and unwind. And at the end of 2022, I released my very own online course and it's called Art for Mindfulness. And what that really is, it's about using art and creativity for mental well-being. So if it's something that you think you'd be interested in, you don't have to be an artist, you don't have to be good at drawing, it's just an avenue to explore to allow you to stop, pause and take some time out of your everyday schedule. So check out the description box below for more information. It's something that you might really enjoy. So what you're seeing me do here is I feel like I've got the middle of the design just as I want it. But I'm just fanning out some more of those edges. I want there to be whispers. I want it to be really soft. I don't necessarily want a harsh line. So I'm just taking some time now to really look at that composition and that overall look. I'm using the paint and the dryer to create ripples within the paint. It's not going to dry solid. I'm hoping that it dries with those ripples. So it shouldn't be a smooth base, or that's what I'm intending anyway. I don't necessarily want it to be a smooth base. I'd really like it to keep some of that ripple effect, some of those whispers and some of that texture. And I'm able to do that by having my paint consistency just a little bit thicker than a normal Dutch pour consistency that I'd work with. That's gonna create those kind of textures and those ripples on the base of the canvas when it dries. And what I would say is don't be scared just to carry on having a play around with the design that you've got on top. It is only paint, so we can always go over it and we can always add some more paint if we don't think there's enough. Okay, I think I'm about there. I'm really happy, so happy dance. <laughs> Just a bit of fun. So let me take you in for a closer look at the wet version. And you can see some of those details. You can see how those colors have been fused with each other and the whisper effect that I've created by just pulling out some of those edges a little bit more across that negative space on the canvas. And that really softens the line as you look at it. What I will do is I will take you in for a dry version look shortly, but I'll just leave you with some of these details now. I really love this piece and I can't stop showing you some of the details on this wet version. I'm almost mesmerized by the effects. I really love the colors that I've used. And as I said, playing around with different color palettes can be a lot of fun. 
colours that I normally wouldn't put together have turned out really well in this occasion. Okay, enough of the wet version close up. Let me take you in now for a dry version look so you can see some of those details dry. So the piece is fully dry and I love it. Let me show you now. So, ta -da! <laughs> so there we go. It's all dry. I just love the movement of this piece. I really love how the paint really fans out across the colours. I really love the split colours that I used. I, I enjoyed mixing up my own version of this blue. Uh, by just adding that little bit of white made it opaque and just a little bit lighter. So that's something I'm going to try and play around with a little bit more in the future, making some of my own colours. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this piece. I'd love to know what you think. But what I'll do is I will take you in for a closer look so you can see some of the detail. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for being here and I hope you have a great week. Take care everyone. Bye.